Alrighty, we're back in the uh, CD500 today. Got the trailer on the back. Got the 90-2. We're going to load some topsoil out from over there. Actually, one load of fill, one load of topsoil. Get this trailer unhooked real quick. We're just going to leave it on the road because there's a chance of rain. There are some clouds in the distance. So if it starts raining while I'm delivering this stuff, I don't have to hook the trailer back up on the mud. We'll get this thing unhooked. We'll get some topsoil in this truck. We'll get rolling, man. Trailer's off. You saw it. Truck's over there ready to get loaded. Let's get to it. Got the uh, fill dirt loaded. We're gonna drive up here to where the topsoil is. Go ahead and park the skid steer up there. That way it's there when we need it. I'm on the way back. And then, uh, you know, we're gonna go drop off this fill dirt. That's what we're gonna do. That's the order of operations. So I'm not gonna lie. I don't really know where this dirt's supposed to go. Mike gave me some sweet directions though. I'll show you a screenshot of the text message she sent me. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to use a compass to find this thing. We'll see what happens. All right. So luckily, the homeowner was here. She knows exactly where it's going. So I didn't have to break out the compass. That's nice. So we'll get turned around here and uh, see if we can't get in here. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of soft. I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna shut you off just in case things go terrible. It went fine. Everything went fine. I promise you. I know you didn't see it, but everything went fine. No, it really, it really did actually go pretty well. We're gonna go back in and then load a topsoil. It will come back. We'll get some footage to dump it on that next round. Now that I know it's not gonna go catastrophically wrong.
bring the I brought skidster down scrape some of the slime off top it's solid below it's just slimy on top but we are gonna pull out of here and just in case it goes awry we put that there so one thing while I got you here real quick now we just put this one in here so it doesn't have a lot on it but that's why I put it on there because it doesn't have a bunch of addresses on there for you to look at but this is Michael kind of called me the night before and said hey I got a few loads in the truck if you can knock those out and then meet me at the shop after that that kind of scenario and he'll just write down where it's going who gets billed and he knows who that is what's going one load of fill one load of topsoil how many each order I got a mark, I delivered both of those, whether or not they paid, and uh, what date it was. This way he can go through and see who he needs to build and who he hasn't built, and I know where I'm taking all my stuff to. Works pretty handy. I don't know, thought you guys might want to see how that worked. Maybe you don't. If you don't, then just keep watching, because I'm done talking about it. Jeez. Well, that's it for this. Just got to hook up the trailer. Of course, step one is to miss the hitch completely. Whoa, boom. Perfect. Couldn't get any better than that. That's okay. I got a trick for that. We'll get this trailer hooked up, get it back to the lot. We're going to be done for the day. And uh, I don't know if you noticed in this video, but I got some sweet new swag, a Dirt Perfect hoodie. If you are not aware, Dirt Perfect's got a new website, dirtperfect1.com, where you can get all kinds of sweet merch. So be sure to get over there, get your Christmas shopping done. And as always, we'll catch you guys on the next one.